Hello and welcome to a Vector Tuts Quick Tip Screencast. My name is Cheryl Graham. I'm going to show you in just a few easy steps how to make a bullet hole in Illustrator. First, take the ellipse tool and draw out a circle. Fill it with a medium to dark gray. Now go up to the Effects menu and choose Distort and Transform Roughen. Click the Preview button and you'll see something like this. We want a fairly small amount of detail. You can play around with these sliders till you get just a few random spikes and make sure you have corner points, not smooth. Keep that selected and go to the Object menu and expand the appearance. Now go back to the Effects menu and choose Stylize Inner Glow. The color of the glow should be black and the mode Multiply. We want the glow to go from the edge and the blur amount fairly low. You want it to look like it's following the edges of the shape. So adjust that accordingly and click OK. Inner Glow is a raster effect so now's a good time to check your document raster effect settings. I usually set mine to at least medium so it doesn't pixelate. If you're going to print your illustration, set it to high, but medium is enough to make it look good. Now draw another circle for the hole and fill it with black. Take the warp tool, which is under the width tool in CS5. The way you can size this tool on the fly is by holding down the option or alt key and dragging it right or left. So I'm just going to drag the Warp tool over my circle to give it a more organic look. I can make the tool smaller for some finer detail. Now Option drag a copy of this shape up and to the left a bit. Then send it behind the original. You can use the keyboard shortcut or the contextual menu. Keep the copy selected and go up to Effects, Blur, Gaussian Blur. The amount is going to depend on the size of your shape, but 8 works for me. And actually I'm going to make it a dark gray instead of black. Now option drag a copy of this shape down and to the right. Then change its blending mode to screen in the transparency panel and its fill color to a very light gray. Depending on the look you want, you can adjust the position of these shapes a bit, but that's it. You're done.